all right youtube hello in today's video we are going to be building on ice for four power libromancers and i know you might be looking at this deck like triff what kind of drugs are you on it's called the pendulum drug where i'm going to obliterate all of my opponents with the best deck odd eyes performer pal libromancers and i'm going to be showing you guys just how crazy it is but before we get into it my chat thinks they could dance better than me so i've actually challenged my chat to a dance off so before we begin i will be battling against my chat in a dance off comments down below right now who you guys think is gonna win when this song drops the dance off begins you guys can't mess up like me you ready Whoa! what the fuck I, i'm so good at dancing that my camera stopped working i'm so good at dancing that my camera fucking stopped working yeah guys i literally took off my shirt you guys missed it it sucks i actually took my shirt off i actually took my shirt off you guys missed it yeah but it was a one-time thing only so it sucks for you guys that's actually what happened so twitch basically saw my big ass biceps and said uh yeah this is just too sexy for twitch so we're going to have to leave that but anyways we'll save the dancing for later let's go on to the uh are, are you guys sad you guys missed shirtless drift don't worry you guys will never see it again all right so i'm gonna show you guys a combo over here live combo uh you guys might be wondering you know why are you playing libromancers hand traps why is illusion of chaos why are you playing sky iris and libra is anyone wondering this question why is there sky iris in your libromancer deck or why is there libromancers in your odd eyes deck you guys might be who's wondering this well i'm gonna show you guys right now just how absolutely absurdly broken that this deck is is gonna actually blow your mind so first things first i'm going to specially fact the libromancer geek boy okay this looks like 90 percent of my chat right here big ass nerd but anyways we're going to use the effect of libromancer geek boy we're going to reveal illusion of chaos and then we're going to use that effect to add the field spell so you guys might be wondering what's the synergy here are you just throwing in random engines for no reason no it's because odd eyes pendulum draft pendulum graph dragon which i'm going to pull up for you guys right now to read this card is absolutely insane in any libromancer deck this card you guys know that this card is searchable by 35 cards i'm not joking this card is searchable by 35 cards there are 35 cards that you could literally search 35 that's a big number i'm playing 60 cards in my deck so what this does is uh it doesn't matter what it does it's a spell negate but it's searchable by half your deck sky iris duelist alliance perform pendulum sorcerer joker monkey board the whole deck searches this card so because all this pendulum graph searchable by the whole deck it makes it so libra matches are at plus four so what's a deck with plus four you make apollosa you make beyond the pendulum it's absurd so there's a combo here to play around in biru and to search three scales very amazingly so first things first we go geek boy to have the field spell that's what it does when it's special summon, all you have to do is reveal one ritual monster in your hand and you get infinite plus so we reveal illusion of chaos which you also pay a lot of or you know we had sky iris we could re we could search the auto pendulum graph if we need to but we don't need to here because we have illusion of chaos so it makes it so the libra monsters are never dead now the field spell lets me add this is turf gaming so you guys see libra monster fire this guy's a goat look at this guy what a like this guy's the coolest guy I've ever seen in my life geek boy is chat libra monster fire is triff the effect of this one again you reveal any ritual and now you get to add any libra monster monster so we're gonna use the effect of this to add the level six libra monster Libromancer 6, where is he? Libromancer Agent. Now, this card's absolutely insane as well. This card lets me add a Libromancer from the graveyard. So now, I don't know if you guys see some combos here, but I'm going to show you guys something absolutely ab absurd that's going to blow your guys' mind. So over here, uh, I'm going to make... I'm going to Special Agent. I'm going to reveal Illusion of Chaos, right? And then right away, I'm going to uh, spe use Illusion of Chaos as a fact because now I don't need any more rituals in my hand. So I'm going to go bring out Magician Souls. I want to be able to see what I'm going to search. I'm going to send that. And I'm going to special Magician Souls. Now, I'm going to just... Before I activate Sky Iris, I'm going to trigger Magician Souls to draw one. Because it's a free draw. That's why Souls in this deck is insane. That's why you can't play Pot of Prosperity in this deck. So, every broke player, rejoice. We don't need Pot of Prosperity. Oh, shit. Souls is $100. Never mind. So, we're going to draw one card. Another hand trap. Fantastic. So, now we're going to go Sky Iris. Now, you might be thinking, Triff, like, I still just don't see the synergy here. Well, now I'm going to blow your guys' mind with something absolutely absurd. So you're going to activate the effect of Sky Iris. I'm going to pop the level 3. The level 3 is the weird level in this deck. You want soul level 1 and level 4s. Those are the weird levels in the deck. So we're going to use that to pop. And we're going to search for, for Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. All right? Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. We're going to activate the effect of that. We're going to pay 500 life points. And we're going to search for Dark Worm, which is actually the best normal summon in this deck after Joker. And it's searchable by your whole deck, basically. And now you're still probably wondering, Triff, what the heck are you playing? Like, you're actually, like... 
you're just summoning cards with no effect well don't worry the time is coming now we're going to activate libra monster agent's effect uh to add uh libra monster geek boy to my hand so now you still might be wondering triff all right cool you you're a plus four right now but where's this going triff well don't worry you guys are about to be uh, astounded we're gonna use dark Worm's effect now to add gate zero we did not normal summon yet all this is free special summons now i wonder if you guys are seeing this who's seeing this combo right now now we're gonna this is, this is about to get absolutely absurd you guys ready for this we do all we needed for the ritual is you reveal one ritual special summon this card so once this card's on the field it does not need a ritual anymore that's why you're able to get the draw before you send off the free liberal monster field spell i know i'm insane i'm literally gonna go to regional with this deck and win with it you guys heard, heard it here first now we're in the scenario you're still you know you're plus five right now great job triff you're plus five but what does that even mean you're plus five who really cares well now time to show you guys how insane this is now we're going to link off the dark worm and the libra monster agent into beyond the pendulum it only needs one monster the dark worm got you one scale in the gate zero and now beyond the pendulum will complete your other scale you could pendulum summon for free now we're gonna use beyond the pendulum's effect to get our high scale that's gonna be perform pal gentrude let's proceed baby so now we have a scale zero and a scale eight now you might be wondering okay you know triff triff all right that's great and all but you're gonna pen someone and get hit with the fattest nibiru ever right well here's the thing right how many monsters do we have in the field right now we have in total we have these monsters a lot right i'm actually gonna link everything off to apoloza beyond the pendulum has an effect that says all monsters you cannot activate monster effects until you pendulum summon well apoloza to store counters on the card does not activate so you are able to physically add counters to the card because it does not activate. So now if my opponent wants to Nibiru right now, go ahead, bro. I, I don't care. If my opponent Nibiru is right now, it does not alter anything because we're still going to put up the full combo and my opponent is not going to be able to play regardless. But now our pendulum summon is protected. You guys wonder how to resolve you on the pendulum. Well, you don't need a thousand pendulum cards. You just need one pendulum. So now uh, Nibiru is useless and now we're going to pendulum summon. We're gonna pendulum two. Remember the same agent you just got back? And now you're gonna wonder, yo, Triff, all right, this is cool. You could, special, you could pendulum Valors if you want, because it's gate zero, right? If you want to, we're not gonna need to. Then you're gonna think like, you're gonna think to yourself like, you know, this is, uh, you know, you have Geek Boy and Dark Room in the field. You're gonna activate E-Telly. Now, if you didn't have a tuner, we're just pendulum some of our hand traps. This is why hand traps are insane in this deck, because you could just pendulum some in your hand traps, so you never brick. Going second, they stop them. Going first, they're your tuner. It's like you get unlimited normal summons. Then you special summon your ghost ogre. Now you're going to be wondering, all right, Triff, this is cool and all. But, like, what are you actually doing with this? Yeah, you have two hash traps in hand. Your opponent can't play. But what are you doing with this, Triff? We're going to make Needle Fiber. The best link in the game after Electromite and Beyond the Pendulum. And now we're going to special summon Red Rose Dragon. And this is where it gets insane. This is where it gets insane. Now we're going to put these into Shooting Riser Dragon. We're going to trigger both. We're going to send Fairy Tail Snow. We're going to special Rocks Rose. That's what we're talking about, baby. And by the way, we did not pendulum summon any Veilers. We're literally, we have double hand trap as protection. Just in case we have Apollo's of protection at all times. At all times. No matter what. We're going to add Basil Rose Shoot. And now at this point, I mean, I'm sure you, the writing is on the wall. It's written on the wall. So here, I mean, you could just go Dagda. Or we could keep shooting riser because this is going to keep a black rose in the field. So the situation, we have these two. So here, we're going to go basil rose shoot, the special rose dragon. Then we're going to put the rose, double rose dragon into artifact Degda. And now at this point, we are going to pass. So for everyone watching YouTube now, what this means, you know, you're playing Pendulum in an amazing one card combo format where your opponent could hand trap you all they want but it doesn't matter because the needle fiber dagda is is just absolutely inevitable so just so those who, who know how many interruptions this is you get triple interruption from apoloza you're gonna get up a uh, fairy tale snow effect twice because once you go snow once you're gonna snow book once that's four interruptions you're gonna shooting right once your whole board's done you're gonna black rose the board at the very end whenever you want to and there's gonna be five interruptions and then snow gonna come back for six and then you're gonna whenever your opponent activates effect or you're gonna use needle fibers effect you're gonna hit them with tg1 and magician and scythe so on the opponent's main phase when they whenever they activate effect you can go tg1 and magician if they attempt to you know uh imperm the scythe or something like that you you have uh or or i don't know negate the tg1 and magician with chalice whatever they might have you fairy tale snow it away so it always resolves 
and then on top of the seven interruptions you have bearing the floor so you're actually gonna have eight interruptions with a scythe oh i forgot about the two veilers my bad we have 10 negates with, with scythe so this is a 10 negate combo utilizing pendulum libromancers 10 negate combo two veilers in hand and we're not even counting the scythe as a negate and as far as your follow-up is concerned you literally have a pendulum summon you literally have a fairy tale snow every card you draw moving forward is insane like it's like <laughs> gentrude when it gets destroyed puts a scale uh, puts uh, any perform pile you want in this thing so this is the new way to play pendulums in my opinion the reason why is dimensional barrier where, where, where i got this idea from is if you dimensional barrier against normal magicians you literally are passing let's be honest here but in this version what are you, are you really calling pendulums look at my graveyard i mean you're probably calling synchro you know what i mean so in this version dimensional barrier is just whatever it doesn't really like it affects you a little bit but not as much as normal like most likely they're going to see scales and call it dimensional barrier but this version makes it so dimensional barrier is totally fine you, you don't lose the dimensional barrier and that's the whole idea of this deck 10 negate combo that does not lose the dimensional barrier so that's the deck i'm going to get into a little bit of the actual uh, idea now so the reason why it's so crazy is because monkey board and joker and dark worm they all literally fix your scale no matter what and dark worm is searchable by your sky irises and your terraforming set rotation so you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven because this searches so you have 11 ways to get it so 11 insane normal summons that gets your uh beyond your full your full scales it gets your full scales because beyond the pendulum will get the other one so when joker gets one and then monk uh this beyond the pendulum gets one that's insane and a crazy thing as well is you don't you always have a tuner because when performed by pendulum sorcerer gets pendulum summon you're going to add perform pull auto synchron and auto synchron will make the pendulum sorcerer a tuner so you always have tuners no matter what and then your your tuner hand traps like your ash your mourner your veil your ghost ogre you literally pendulum summon them all the like gate zero is you know it scales zero it's searchable by like eight cards so you pendulum summon your veiler all these tuners are pendulum summon going first so you never brick you know if, the only time you brick is when you have too many hand traps so that's fine you just pendulum summon the hand traps and that's the that's the deck uh jet synchron as well makes it so needle fiber is a one card combo with the anima and this is the another cool thing that this deck offers is it is also paguska turbo so you, you could very easily set up a Libromancer uh, where you special Libromancer, normal Joker, and just go Baguska. So it, it's another cool thing that other Synchro decks cannot do. You're utilizing Synchros and XYZs and Links and Pendulums. So every mechanic in Yu-Gi-Oh! essentially. And you still are playing 16 hand traps with 8 in the side. Uh, so it's absolutely insane. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Performed by Libromancer, best deck. And I'm probably going to take this to the regional next week. Um... And that's it. Make sure you guys smash the subscribe button and smash the like button. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, I just saw do not play the Libra Monster trap card. The idea here is not for the trap card. Like the only reason you're playing the ritual is to ensure that you don't open hands of like, let's say you open field spell, Libra Monster fire, Libra Monster geek boy, and no other way to ritual. Uh, th that hand is absolutely awful if you don't play the ritual. So if you use the field spell to search the ritual, now you combo off and plus a billion. One Libra Monster is a plus four and in utilization with celine and and apolosa th they become absolutely insane so the trap card is that ne you never actual ritual you never actually ritual summon this card ever literally ever it's just there as a ritual monster to search that's it you don't actually ritual summon it you could if you want to i mean if you want to you can ritual with the field spell but you need this ritual monster anyone that doesn't play that plays libra monsters and doesn't understand why you're just a no uh, a, a, a noob and a nerd at the same time but you, you need a Libra Monster. Imagine drawing three Libra Monsters and no rit Ritual in your deck. You need to play one Libra Monster Ritual in your deck. And this is a combo deck. It's not a trap deck. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the, vi in the next video. Peace.